Things continue to get worse for Disney's upcoming Snow White live-action remake ever since those photos leaked from on set of the production and they showed how bad the production actually looks, how bad the costumes were, and how bad the dwarves look, seeing as they're not actually dwarves. But things have actually fallen a lot lower since video came out of an interview with Rachel Ziegler in which the interviewer asks her about there being a modern edge in this Snow White remake and you see Gal Gadot's reaction to what Rachel Ziegler says when she says that Snow White's not going to be focused on love or relationships or family and is going to be more focused on being a girl boss and being a leader. This Snow White is going to have a modern edge to her. Cartoon was so focused on her finding true love and it's really not even in her mind at all in this film. So focused on becoming the leader and how to find her own agency. And you actually see Gal Gadot not enjoy what she's hearing and you can clearly tell that she isn't excited about how they portrayed Snow White in this movie. And we know that Gal Gadot isn't a fan of how they've been portraying women in recent modern movies because she came out about two weeks ago with a statement saying that she doesn't like how they're making women more like men. She thinks it makes them more one-dimensional, she doesn't think it makes for interesting characters, and she said that it also just takes away from the power that female characters actually have. Because women aren't like men, and she said that we shouldn't pretend that they are. And she has a great point when she says that, however it is just sad that she happens to be starring in a Disney movie where they're doing exactly that with an iconic character in Snow White. And you can clearly tell that she actually isn't happy about it. However, I'm sure that when they pitched the movie to her, she probably thought they were just going to retell the exact story of Snow White because who would actually expect anything different? You wouldn't expect them to change the original story of Snow White, seeing as how iconic it is and how successful the story's been. I mean, that story has been celebrated for generations. You wouldn't expect Disney to go and change it, however they clearly have, and I don't think Gal Gadot was actually expecting that. And also, I'm sure that the money was really good, so you would be a bit of a fool not to turn it down, and I also think Gal Gadot is good casting as the evil queen in Snow White, however I'm just annoyed, and I'm sure she's annoyed too, at the way that they've changed the story and the outline of the Snow White character. But to discuss further what Gal Gadot actually said about female characters and how that applies to Snow White, I mean, I think she has a great point, because because when you look at so many modern female portrayals on screen, they come across as one-dimensional. You can't really empathize with them, and you honestly just don't like how insufferable the characters actually are. Because when they try and make them more like men, it takes away from what makes women unique. Because women have a different set of skills to men, and men have a different set of skills to women. And that's what makes life beautiful, and that's what can make a female character so great. Because the great female characters that we've seen on screen in the past were different to men. They had their own unique skill set. They had skills that men don't have and vice versa. Men have skills that women don't have. And so that's what you can actually use to make a great female character and to show true female empowerment. You would portray a woman in a realistic way. You would actually portray the unique set of skills that women have that men don't. You would have to dive into what makes women different and that's how you could make a great female character. However, they haven't been doing that lately in films and it really translates on screen. When you go and watch Indiana Jones 5, Phoebe Waller-Bridge's character Helena Shaw is so insufferable. You don't feel anything for that character and not to mention she's just absolutely boring because she has no character arc at all. And I think that by making women exactly like men, you're actually setting back female empowerment on screen. Because if you truly want to make a great female character, you would make them relatable to other women and you would show what women have to offer and what makes women unique like I've already said but I think the way that they're going about it and how they're making women so much more like men and way more focused on being a leader than being a family member way more focused on being a girl boss and attacking their career instead of having children or finding love I mean it's just ridiculous because so many women out there can't relate I mean we've already seen clips where Elle Fanning and Jenna Ortega were talking about this and how they can't relate to the women that they're reading in scripts nowadays. They're talking about how they get sent scripts and how they read the character description as a strong female character and they just can't relate. They don't know who that woman is because for the most part, that woman doesn't exist. Watching a project, you want to feel like the, the characters or, or um, representatives that you're seeing of, of, of yourself on screen yeah. are relatable or attainable. And sometimes when 
Yeah, when you're constantly walking and there's cars blowing up in the background and things like that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, cool and it's awesome. It it's looks like, beautiful, but I don't know anything about her. So totally. it's hard to develop some sort of yeah. um, admiration or connection with women when they're, yes, they're written very two-dimensional and yeah. don't really or give it's you like enough. If- to be a strong woman, you have to be this. I'm not saying that women only want to be maternal. I'm not saying that women can't focus on career. But what I am saying is that you shouldn't ignore that side of women. You shouldn't ignore the fact that a lot of women out there do prioritize having a family and they do prioritize love and that's okay. And vice versa, if a woman also wants to prioritize career, that's okay. But you shouldn't go back to old stories and change it from being about love and making it about career and being a leader because the message that sends to young women is that being family oriented and worrying about love is actually worse and that you shouldn't worry about that and that a superior woman is a woman who's focused on career. I mean, that is so disrespectful. That is so rude and sends the complete wrong message to many young women out there and also makes them feel worse about themselves because if a young woman is going to watch a woman on screen be everything that she isn't and and tell her that that's what a real woman is, then she's not going to feel like a real woman. She's going to feel unworthy. And I think that's what Gal Gadot's getting at when she talks about how they're portraying female characters on screen in modern cinema. Because by making women more like men, you're just ignoring all the great skill sets that women have to offer and what makes women unique. And they already did this in Peter Pan and Wendy, where they made Wendy a complete girl boss focused on action and not maternal at all. When the original Peter Pan and Wendy was all about how the Lost Boys were missing that maternal instinct and how important that maternal instinct and how important women are. And in the original Peter Pan movie, it really highlighted the importance of love and Wendy brought that on screen. However, in the remake, she didn't bring any of that and I think that's why her character completely fell flat. That's why you found her so insufferable. That's why you couldn't empathize with the Wendy character in that movie because she wasn't bringing anything unique to screen and it wasn't wasn't anything you could actually relate to. And now they're going and doing it again with Snow White, where they're going back to an old story, which was about Snow White falling in love and prioritizing family, love, and having that maternal instinct. And now they're changing it to her being focused on being a leader and focusing on career. I mean, I don't even know how they can actually change her character that way, because then what's the story about? If it's not about falling in love, if she's not out there trying to find that prince, what's the point of the Snow White story? I'm confused dear how can they change it and how in any way is it going to be an improvement on what's already been regarded one of the greatest stories ever written and to be honest a character who's focused on only herself and not focused on anyone else not focused on family not focused on love not focused on being a nice person but just wants to be focused on being a leader and an absolute girl boss that sounds like a pretty boring character and honestly sounds like a character i don't want to see on screen who would want to relate to that character? Who would want to be friends with that character? They don't care about anyone else but themselves. They're only focused on themselves. That's not a relatable character. What's the character arc in that story? I mean, that is so unrelatable. No one wants to empathize with them. No one even wants to like that character. How do you think you could build a story around a protagonist that no one will enjoy watching and that will honestly just be ridiculously insufferable? All in all, I think Gal Gadot's comments on female characters in modern cinema is really accurate. I don't think it's actually good for female empowerment. And I think the issues that Gal Gadot raises with those characters are totally valid. And I think these studios should take that on board and start highlighting what actually makes women great rather than making women exactly like men on screen. But also on top of that, I do want to say I think Gal Gadot is great casting as the evil queen in Snow White. I mean, when you think of the evil queen, she definitely looks a lot like Gal Gadot. I think she'll be able to portray that character really well. I think she can play that evil character really well to be honest so I am excited to see her portrayal I think that was great casting however it is sad that they are changing the story and it is sad that Gal Gadot seems like she doesn't actually like the change and doesn't actually want to promote the type of character that they've made Snow White in this film but what are your thoughts on Gal Gadot's comments what are your thoughts on Gal Gadot's reaction in that interview and also what are your thoughts on the overall Snow White story let me know down below in the comments if you like the video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all on my next video.